What is up, YouTube? How's everybody doing today? Doing well here. Thank you for asking. You're going to notice my backdrop is a smidgen different today. That's because I'm out here on my school bus. Why not? I was out here sweeping it up, making her pretty for the little monsters. Uh, I mean the precious angels that will be getting on Monday. So, I thought, why not just stay out here? nice and quiet I'm alone and do a little movie review I have my trusty handy dandy notes as all of you know if you've watched my previous reviews I'm not a professional and I don't play one on television I don't remember all these things so I write them down so I can look at them and look very unprofessional reading them off the paper to you so let's do this here we go the movie today is Dead Rising Watchtower. It came out in 2015. The cast are Jesse Metcalf as Chase Carter, Megan Ori as Crystal, Keenan Connor Tracy as Jordan, Virginia Madsen. Not Madison, but it looks like Madison, whatever. As Maggie. Rob Riggle as Frank West. And there are many more. There's actually quite a few people on here that you might know. Uh, quite a few. So the story, uh, I kind of knocked it down just a little bit. So as not to give too much away. And plus it can get a little complicated if you try to tell too much of the story. So, story is... Chase and Jordan cover the government's efforts to contain a virus that turns people into zombies when a new drug, Zombrex, Zombrex fails to stop the disease. They team up with two survivors to escape town before it's blown up and destroyed. So that is pretty much the story in a little nutshell. Just a little nutshell. There's a little more off in there, a little twist and turn, but you'll see that if you watch the movie. My thoughts and opinions. Let's do this. This is based on a video game. I never played the video game. I did play the demo. And you can see elements from the demo that I can tell in the movie. So that's good. Um, a lot of times video game movies and that type of stuff don't go over real well, but I happen to like a lot of them. Uh, I don't have the problems that a lot of people have. This one was pretty well done to me. So, overall, the story is decent. Zombie outbreak, drug made to stop the infection. We all know the routine now, right? Almost Resident Evil-ish. Character-wise, I like the main guy, Chase. His acting was good. Uh, he handled the zombies like a champ. Um, really. Decent character, not bad. Something you wouldn't think so much of in kind of a movie like this, but uh, going in there because you think it might be a low-budget movie. However, it's not. Not that I can tell. Pretty good movie. But we don't want to get that. We don't want to get there yet keep going. Crystal. She's a cool chick that kicks some butt and looks good doing it. Mwah. Beautiful. Mwah. Sorry. Alright, let's see. Both Chase and Crystal get whooped as well. <clears throat> they get a little bit of beat down here and there. So it's not. it's nice to see their characters are not invincible like some characters tend to be. To me, this comes off as a project that was taken seriously and not just thrown together for a quick dollar. To me, it doesn't seem like a low-budget movie. It really seemed like they cared and they put the effort and the money into it. And to me, it was pretty well done. Uh, I've watched a million zombie movies from the lowest of low budget that looked like I ran out here with my action camera doing it to the biggest of Hollywood budgets. Um... And this one, to me, looked 
it looked pretty good. It was done well. So let's get on to the characters. Uh, I just did like a quick little out, a quick little uh, rating on like the characters, the story, the zombie and effects, and the cinematography. So characters, I have to give the characters a 4 out of 5. I feel they were well acted and they all seemed right for their parts. Um, I had no issues really with anything. I thought it was pretty well done. Very surprised. Story, I give it a 4 out of 5 because let's face it, zombies rule, man. And the story fits well within that world and I assume the game, not sure. Um, but the story to me was decent. There is some, there's plenty of character development. You get a, you do have an attachment to a couple of different characters off in there, which is kind of not always the case in these kind of movies. So that was cool. The zombies and the special effects. Uh, everything looked well done to me. From the makeup to the explosions, there's some cool weapons in there, just like on the game. Um... Uh, the only thing I might say is that uh, the guns, uh, the actual sound of the guns is a little weak on the gun department. They needed to be beefed up a little bit with the gun sounds. Uh, but that, that's the only thing, and I just thought of that. So uh, on the zombie and the effects and all that, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Um, the cinematography, overall, I think it was well done. There's a couple of cool different shots in there that are almost like a point of view type stuff. Just a couple. Um, I feel they actually cared about the outcome of this movie. Uh, which in zombie movies, uh, that can sometimes just not work out or it, it, it just didn't come across that way. Or maybe they don't have the money to put into it. Into the all the photography and the lighting and the setting up and the compositions and all that kind of stuff but everything felt really pretty solid in this movie I give that a a 4.5 on that uh, characters 4.5 story 4.5 zombie and effects and all that stuff 4.5 and the cinematography I get 4.5 so I assume I'm bad at math but I'm gonna say I'm gonna give this movie a solid 4 out of 5 it was really pretty decent it, uh, it wasn't bad um, and like I said, I've seen a million zombie movies, and this is pretty decent, so, yeah. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, I have many more reviews. You can check them out in my playlist. I just now started a playlist where I put all my mov movie reviews. Uh, if I do a TV show, it'll be in there as well, uh, just, uh, like, movies and TVs. They'll be in, the, in this one certain playlist. You'll see it on there. Um... I do all this for free, no monetization, no ads that I'm aware of. Um, I do it for fun. I, I like doing it. It gives me something to do. Uh, yeah, so uh, guys, we're going to wrap this up by saying get up, get out, get rad, and do it to it. Even when doing a movie review in your school bus. Now you guys be good. And you get your kids on the bus come Monday morning. And you make them little rugrats behave. See you later, guys.